Hello YouTube and welcome to Useless Rants, your home for most useless and ranting. God, I hate that intro. Someone, so you got, someone make me um, one of those uh, intro things that says my name, Useless Rants. I'm tired of saying this This is Useless Rants. Someone, please. An artist, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I was going to talk about some, but I just want to add a little thing. You ever notice at house shows, those are the most stupidest things you could ever go to. If a house show for WWE goes to do your neighborhood, don't go. Because I'll give you a few reasons why. One, nothing important is going to happen. Two, they act as if the rest, the they act as if nothing ever happened there on the, on the live shows. Like, for example, that fag Ricky Ortiz loses a match at a house show. If he go at when they tape ECW, they're gonna act as if he's still undefeated. They're gonna still say he's undefeated. They don't acknowledge what happens at house shows. The last time they acknowledged it was like, like God knows, ten years. That was when Diesel won that title versus Bob, Bob Backlund. That was probably that's the last time a world title changed. Any other times, uh, it changes the very next house show. So it's house shows are pointless. Actually, actually, are pointful to, to test people's reactions on things so they can get ready for the live show. But why would you want to go? I've been to a few, and I gotta say they suck. They're way nowhere near as good as the live shows because that's where all the stuff happens. No schedule, no uh, rivalries or anything storyline-wise happens at house shows. Like. Like, there was a thing in Canton, Ohio. I didn't go to that, because, well, it's about 20 minutes from here, so I decided to go to Unforgiven. It was a SmackDown house show. It The main event before Edge was kayfabe sent to hell. It was Edge versus Triple H for the WWE title. I, I wonder who's going to win that. Come on. That's bull. We all know who's going to win. If you are sitting there like, who? I wonder who's going to win. Oh, I better go to that house show. You're an idiot. Don't go to house shows. Unless you really, really want to see... Unless you're really desperate and you want to at least get some action. Because I know places in Rhode Island are never going to even experience live. I mean, yeah. So, or Delaware. Rhode Island and De Delaware. Like, places up here in Cleveland, at least somewhat major cities, are going to get live action. So... If, if a house show goes to uh, Cleveland, I will never go. I went to two of them. One, actually this one was pretty good. The main event was cool. It was during the invasion. Stone Cold versus The Rock. How does that sound? It was a nice match. I just don't remember how it happened. I can't remember a thing. It was like seven years ago. I was seven years old at the time. Uh, then I went to this one, Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker in a, for the WWE title. Ended in disqualification, so... You know, crap. I mean, house shows are just... Don't go. You're not going to get pumped up for anything. They don't care. It's pretty sad, actually. And and they also have, like, jobbers face each other. And uh, Hell, I think Divas matches are more uh, exciting than that. Anyways, what I want to talk about is... My city sports teams suck! It's pretty disappointing. The Indians in 07... They were one of the best teams in baseball. Fortunately, they got screwed out of the ALCS against those Boston Red Sox. And I hope the Rays win the, t the, the their division title instead of the Sox. Can't stand the Sox. And the Indians were expected to go even further. <laughs> that didn't happen. They started out okay. Then, well, they just caught, fell. They gone to last place. They had like eight game losing streaks, one win, eight game losing streak. It was it was embarrassing. I mean, and now the second half, well the mostly the second half of the second half, they're like winning every game. Ten game winning streaks. Too late. You're already eight games behind second place. You can at least get third. But this is crap. They blew their chances at anything. They really screwed up. Next year, I think they'll be good. And, oh yeah, Cliff Lee better win the Cy Young Award, or else there's no God. Cy Young Award to Cliff Lee. 
he's amazing. And the Cleveland Browns, not off to a good start. 0-4 in the preseason. You'd think, oh, just a preseason. Yeah. No, it's going even worse. They are 0-3 in the NFL regular season. They lost to the Cowboys, which was the big thing that caused Unforgiven to fail. So <laughs> I think I would rather go on Unforgiven than that, even though I'm a Browns fan for life. Well, at least if I knew what the score was going to be. Uh, then they pitiful loss to the Steelers, those Pittsburgh Schittsburg squealers. Um, it was pathetic. It was 10 to 6. We had so many opportunities. We just we let them off the hook. It was bullshit. And then they lost to the, the Ratbirds of Baltimore. I mean, what the hell? 28 to 10. <laughs> when have we, haven't we seen that score? The Ravens are not a good team. The Browns should have killed them. Derek Anderson screwed us out. Brady Quinn should be starting. But Derek Anderson's going to start uh, for this week's NFL against the Bengals. <laughs> if he throws a couple more interceptions, Brady's going in. You can expect it. And the Ohio State Buckeyes, you know... They lost horribly to USC. It wasn't so much that they, the offense sucked. More so, they totally blew their chance in that first half. They had an easy touchdown. Holding call. Got called back. The touchdown. So, in fact, they had a touchdown, but they got called back for a holding. Sorry. They got pulled back some yards. It was fourth down. Or, I don't know. I, wasn't, I didn't watch it. I was somewhere else, but... From my knowledge, they had to kick a field goal, and they missed. They missed a field goal. God knows how far they were. And that was it. Ohio State blew it. It wasn't totally a blowout until that second half uh, when USC just destroyed them. But th I went to the Ohio State game uh, uh, this last weekend. It was versus Troy University, and to uh, prove it, here are the tickets. Yeah, they have Troy Smith on the ticket stubs. God damn it, Troy Smith? God, he sucks. He's with the Baltimore Ratbirds, their third quarterback. He was overrated, Heisman Award winner. No need to praise him. Um, yeah, in that game, it was half, at halftime, it was 14-10 Buckeyes. Detroit University. Have you even heard of Troy University? I didn't. They're Division One. What the hell? You, I mean, if you want to be number one again, you have to crush teams like that. I mean, they're still number fourteen. Uh, Ohio State almost gave up a touchdown to Troy in the sec second half, which would have led to a Troy of lead. But some lucky play on, I think it was an interception. Yeah, interception in the end zone, and right there, Ohio State took control. Two touchdowns by Terrell Pryor. Terrell Pryor looked awesome and everything, but but he's not getting too much help from his receivers. They dropped a couple of his passes, which could have gone for mega yardage. But hey, he's a freshman. He'd be better next year. Heisman? Nah, maybe. You never know. Hopefully the Cleveland Cavaliers can do anything. They were beaten by the Boston Celtics. I don't care about the Boston Celtics. And early Cleveland Cavaliers, I'm not a huge fan of, you know, because really everyone started becoming fans when LeBron came. It's the truth. It's the truth. Cleveland never liked the Cavs until LeBron came. Cleveland fans are known as the greatest fans in the world, but that's their only flaw. They're front runner Cavs fans. I would know. Only flaw. They would never give up on the Indians and Browns. Probably the Buckeyes, but you know. And their minor league hockey team sucks, but, you know, who cares about them? The Lake Erie Monsters? They don't even have Cleveland. They're embarrassed to mention that. And, well, some good news. Chicago Cubs won the division again. It's 2008. The last time they won a title was 1908. A hundred-year anniversary. They're going to win the championship. I'm calling it right here. The Cubbies are going to win the World Series. Kind of like how the Gators won in 07 when they were started in 1907. Go Cubbies!